the question is, is now the time to be buying the oil stocks? As we know, they're depressed tr tremendously. And they're depressed for two reasons. One, you and I aren't out driving our cars, and therefore we're not consuming gasoline. The other reason is that OPEC is having a spitting contest. That is that uh, OPEC has said to all the producers to reduce your production, and Russia said no. No, we're not going to reproduce our production. Our economy is dependent upon it, and we're going to keep producing as much oil as we can. OPEC, or, uh, Saudi Arabia says, well, if Russia isn't going to cut back, we're not going to cut back. So there's a glut of oil on the market right now, and the prices of the oil, of the oil companies, Exxon, Chevron, uh, Valero, all of them, have plummeted. So which ones do we buy? The real answer to that question is which one's going to survive the onslaught of the low prices? Which one has the stronger balance sheet? And what we got to do is dig in and find out who's going to come out the other side, the survivor. And that's what I'm going to do. So let's go to the charts and let's go to the financials and find out which one of these we want to buy today. Okay, what I did here was I went to my tradingview.com and I'm on Valero as the stock that I'm featuring, and that'll be this bar graph here. And I've gone back to September of 17, when they were all kind of together, all the stocks. And what I'm looking at here is uh, the HFC, which is Holly Frontier Corporation, a, not a company that I'm particularly familiar with, but my research shows me that they're one of the major players. They manufacture gasoline, uh, they manufacture lubricant products, and they manufacture um, asphalt for independence. The next one I'm looking at is Valero, and that's the bar graph that you're seeing there. Um, and my, I'm familiar with Valero, Valero. We see them some here in the south, but they're, I believe they're a Texas company. And then we have uh, Chevron, and I think we're all pretty familiar with Chevron. Uh, on the graph, that's going to be the, the blue line. And then the uh, uh, Exxon is the, the orange, uh, the heavy orange line. That would be this one here. Um, so what we're comparing is the movement, and as you can see that HFC is much more dramatic than the others, but they all kind of end up in the same place down here. If we look from, um, we're looking basically from August of 17, and you can see again, um, the one that is down the most, it would indicate here down 54% is uh, going to be Exxon uh, then Chevron at 34%, then Valero at um, 23 and um, HFC at 11 Now let's move it into a more closer uh, time frame and go back to uh, 2019. Uh, that would be January. Now we get, um, basically, they're, they're all moving in tandem. I, I see here Valero had a, a higher uptime, and um, therefore, that's why we're seeing them there down um, uh, 53%, and then um, Exxon down 48, um, and then uh, 41 will be probably, um, I think that's Valero, and then Chevron, our, uh, uh, Chevron is down 37. So, Chevron, Valero, Exxon, and uh, HFC. So that's, that's the movement. If, if you're only judging this as to which one of these I want to buy, if you're only judging it based on chart movement, uh, 53 being the, the deepest um, decline, and that would be HFC, um, followed by 
Exxon at 48. Now let's let's even move it into a tighter fra framework of uh, this um, starting at 2000. Now um, our heaviest movers they're all pretty darn close. I mean it's it's hard hard to to distinguish which is more severe. But I think what what the what I'm pointing out is they're all down. They're all severely down. So what I would then suggest is we go into, and let's move to Exxon because that's the one I think we're all most familiar with, and we go into their fundamentals. And, and here we see uh, Exxon's P-E ratio is 11.5. Um, and this, this is quite interesting. At this price, they're paying a dividend of 9.4%. Uh, and then if we go here to look at more, we can see even more detailed information about, and I think the thing that we need to be concerned about here is debt and their ability to service the debt while they aren't having the income that they're accustomed to. And um, this, this shows us exactly what that situation is. A total debt, again for Exxon, of um, $52 billion over assets of uh, $362 billion. So their, um, their ratio, debt to equity ratio, is 26%. Um, and that, to me, seems quite adequate uh, and safe. And their free cash flow is $5.3 billion. I think this, this is interesting. Revenue per employee, uh, that's a pretty stout <laughs> return on your employees' wages. That, that, so the oil business is put, but return on equity is is more in the, the, the neighborhood of 7%. Let's look at um, Chevron then in that same regard. They're paying a dividend, again, of 7.5 cents. Um, their P-E ratio is 51. That's pretty, pretty high. Um, then we come over here and we look to their, their debt to equity. Uh, they have a do total debt of um, 3 Three, uh, 30 billion and total assets of uh, uh, 237 billion. Debt to, to equity ratio is 21 percent. And if I remember, it was about 25 on on Exxon. And good cash flow. So that's the way. And I'm not going to go through each one of them. What I'm going to do is I've then taken this comparison and I've transferred the numbers that are important to me to a Excel spreadsheet so that I could see each one of their numbers adjacent to each other and then I could make a decision based on their financial health as to which one or more than one of these that I wanted to buy into. Okay so that's the exercise I went, went through. And I want to once again state that this is all a result of one of you bringing to my attention this opportunity and then initiating my activity to do the anal analytics and, and, and find out what I would buy first. So I'm going to ask you, based on what I've shown you so far, which of the four would, would you purchase? And I've, this is the spreadsheet I've created. And those four are Exxon, Chevron, Valero, and Holly Frontier. Which of the four would you pay, purchase based on the information that we've shared thus far? I'm going to take this spreadsheet and I'm going to share it with you. I've used a number of ratios, the quick ratio, the current ratio, uh, the return on equity, and um, the PE ratio to help me determine who I thought of these four had the strongest financial balance sheet that's going to get them through some times. So, uh, again, I don't see this happening or this going away anytime soon. I, I see the, the, the virus keeping me in this house at least another 
two, three weeks, maybe even two, three months. And until I get out of the house and start driving my car and my wife starts driving her car, these companies aren't going to have the cash flow they need to keep in operation. Uh, they're, go they're, they're going to find some tough times. Now, either the government will come and help them or they're strong enough to make it through. I want to be with the one that or two that is the strongest to get through. So, if you want a copy of this spreadsheet, I have already done the uh, autoresponder. I've got the website set up for best of U.S investors, www.bestofusinvestors.com, and if you go to there, you'll find a place to give me your name and your email address, and it will automatically send you a copy of this spreadsheet. If you've already done that, and there's something over a hundred of you that have, you will receive this automatically. Now again, I want to emphasize my experience with autoresponders and, and mailing services like this is some of you have sophisticated enough um, malware or whatever uh, email sorters so that they are put into a promotional or a social uh, or spam folder. So if you have requested my email in the past and you haven't received them, my emails are in your spam folder. If you request this and you don't receive it immediately, it's in your spam folder or one of those two other folders. So go find it, put me as um, the best of you as investors as a primary source and all of the emails in the future will come to you. Because what I'm going to do is if I, if, if, if I decide to change something about this, the people who sign up for it are the ones who are going to get the email. Uh, I'm not going to every change I make share in, in, a, in a video format. So that's the direction I want to go. I'm excited about this. Uh, I started this YouTube channel about a year ago. We're now up to about almost 2,000 subscribers. We're getting somewhere in the neighborhood of, I think it's 10,000 unique viewers a, a, a month. So it's growing the way I want it to. And I'm, I'm really kind of shocked at how it's gone worldwide, which is, I think, really cool. Uh, so, but what I want to do is rather, I, I watch other people and they, their videos go get into the numbers and the Fed does this and the Fed. But what I think you really want is a community where we share information and we share tactics and we, we share uh, what we think is going to happen in the future and what we can better not only manage our portfolios, but manage our financial lives. Um, I, I'm getting, and, and I'm so encouraged, I'm getting a lot of young people. I got an email just this weekend from someone who said that they got $5,000. They're 23 years old. They want to get involved in investing. They don't need to know how the Fed works, and they don't need at this point in their life to know uh, the difference between the Fed and the Treasury and uh, current paper and long-term paper. They need to know how should I analyze a stock to buy it? How should I stay informed so I can stay on the cutting edge of what's going to be happening in the future? Because right now, we are at the pivot point of a change in our lives. This virus is going to change our medical system dramatically. How are you going to profit from it? How are you going to benefit from it? I'm going to do a video on, on Google. Um, what I've learned Google is doing in, in, in conjunction with the CVC just blew my mind. And I want to share it with you. And I'll do that the first of this week. So give me a like, uh, subscribe, and, 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 and go to Best of U.S investors.com and I'll send you this spreadsheet.